Hold on. We are live from the Lynn Lewis Foundation 2022 Breast Cancer Awareness Tournament here in Washington, D.C., already in progress. Had to find an open field. We found field one, and here we go. Savage Sisters in the white. If you know, you know, and the greenish. We're actually going to fix this score. They said it was 6 0 when we arrived. There we go. She will throw across the middle. Great drive on this possession. Looks like she'll be pulled down shy at the one yard line. Sun is bright behind us, so we're going to be sitting here. All part of Champions Month here on TVT. Looking to crown two, at least four different champions today. And fives and eights. Copy over here, pro down there. Fives over later today. We crown a few sevens champions here. And more to come over the course of the next month. Complete middle. Shy. Third down. Whistle blown. Timeout is called by the Savage Sisters. Gonna try to get an idea where we're at in the bracket. Took me a while to find an open field. Two and three are currently occupied. Games are live over there. We're just gonna be running around, just getting what we can along the way until it's all said and done here at Lynn Lewis. Timeout called. We're going to discuss it. Critical possession here for Savage Sisters. Got to respond to the score by if you know, you know. It happened right before we walked up. They were attempting the extra point as we walked onto the field. There was no score. I thought you said 6 nothing. my bad. No, no, I meant like back. I was talking about the last drive. Yeah, last drive is what I meant. <laughs> Throw is complete. Touchdown. Touchdown, Savage Sisters. Six six. They'll go for one. Money day Sunday here at Lynn Lewis. Thirty-five seconds. Gonna fire that up. Great play. Head as she threw too. Excellent throw and pressure. Seven six. They'll kick it off. Kickoff unit already ready to go down here for the most part. Looks like they got it all eight ready. Got to give credit there. Ready to go to kick this off and try to get out of this first half of a nice little lead. Plenty of time left in this one. Let's go, D. Let's go, D. Kick off coming. Going down to the other side. Come on, Pocky. Get there. One over time. Looks like a hold is coming, however. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but it's going to be coming back. Referee signaling, bring it on back. And the kick return for a touchdown is null and void. Come on back. Holding was called, and as a result, a missed opportunity for if you know, you know. Major missed opportunity there. They're going to mark it. 22 seconds. Sun is over here. We're going to have our back towards it. So we're going to go to the if you know, you know sideline. Goal is to finish out over here. Just get done what we see. We're here on this field. There's coverage on two and three as well. A little far down. 
try to get a little closer. 22 seconds. What do you try to call in this playbook is the question. Hold right down. Nowhere to go. Timeout is called. One play could be effective, but this light and a half. Got to do something to cut the field in half each way there until you score. The sideline is your friend in this time of the game. I'm going to assume we're about 19, 18 seconds left. There was 22 at the start of the last play. Let's go, Let's go, Right, left side, running towards us. Half time it will be 7 6. Let's go. Right back. Kickoff coming here for the second half of If You Know You Know and the Savage Sisters. First semi finals in the eights cop bracket. And it's going to be a bit of a bouncer. And I'm actually able to field it. Last return went for six before the hold. And this one not going to go very far. So here we go. Second half. We're going to stay on the sideline if you know you know while they come up the field. Sun is bright behind us on that side. Two more games in the comp division left. The other semifinal followed by the championship. That's set to start around 2.35. We're going to be here the rest of the way for this field as long as it's in play. And then we'll proceed from there with any other game that may be there along the way. Pitch coming. Yeah, Dave. Out of bounds. Second down. Got to get to this cone right there. Okay. Go ahead. Get your ass. Go on the edge. Got some room pulled right down. Running game effective. First down. Talked about it yesterday. The running game could be a valuable weapon here in this sport. The physicality up front. Getting that rusher on the edge. Finding that open hole into the end zone. We're on the first down line. Almost. They still got a bit to go here. They do got the first from the last one, however. Oh, she's trying to pitch it. Nowhere to go. And it looks like there could be an injury there. Hobbling off the field. And they're going to make a substitution at that position. And it's going to be a time after, if you know, you know. We'll be right back in a moment. The helper off the field. It'll be second down coming up for, if you know, you know. Hey, 67. Hey, hey, we still good. Look alive. I'm going to take the snap, run it to the right. I'm going to finally throw, almost intercepted. Third down. One point game here in the second half. And it looks like there is another injury, but this time on the opposite side. And she's right back up. A little slow getting up. It's a tough game. It's a long weekend. Stack, stack. This is where the stack, war of attrition stack, comes stack. in. It's 
especially the players who've been playing multiple styles all weekend. Much for a potential double QB here. Maybe even just a regular screen. We'll see. They have the formation set up. Could fake us all out, though, with something else. Play design is just as crucial as play calling. Gonna step up immediately. Running it. Pull right down, shy, fourth down. First down, coming kind of way down here, so we'll see if they try to go for it. They're gonna be punting it. On the turn. Wow. Well, all that talk. Oh, wow. That was coming. They're letting her know about it. Good job, Goose. My man, my team gonna run down there and help you. Hey, let's go, Goose. Hey, try not to laugh, but. <laughs> she had a lot to say prior to that. But not much to show on that one. So we'll go over here. Savage Sisters, not in the best field position. Pretty close to that cone there. I don't want anything to go over that line. It's not bad for now. Just got to keep the quarterback protected, get that ball out of there. High snap. Across the middle. Pulled right down. Second down. Great response after the dropped punt return. Seven to six, Savage Sisters, second half. Part of Champions Month here on TVT. We'll be crowning multiple champions over the course of the next month across the flag football realm. Starting with today here at Lynn Lewis. More to come next Sunday. We're back at DC. 15 minutes down the road in Tucker. Complete wide open. Big time offense right now by the Savage Sisters. And the if you know, you know secondary is looking a little shaky right now. But this route running by these receivers are very excellent at the moment. And the coverage is just not there for the opposite side. 11 minutes to go. Savage Sisters up 7-6. to six. They're in a good position here. Just got to hold on to the ball until you get to the end zone. Score. You got to stop, and they might have this game clinched. Wide open again. They are carving a hole in this secondary, and it is not pretty on the opposite side right now with the coverage. Got to make some sort of adjustment here if you know you know. Seven to six. Same formation they've been coming out in the whole drive. It's been successful. Got the blockers. Got the time. Got the pass. Or is it? Yes, it was complete. Complete down the field. That's five in a row going back to the last drive. Six in a row, seven maybe. I've lost track. It's been a while, but they have been making almost every pass since I've gotten on this field. Key to winning is having that player, that quarterback position who can make the right decisions, make the right reads, and throw the ball with such velocity and force that it can get to the receiver as fast as possible out of the QB's hands. Okay, 
There is motion coming. Let's see where it goes. Trying to get an extra blocker there on that left side edge. Rush coming. What a catch. What a play. Touchdown, Savage Sisters. 13-6. Seven point game. Seven point game. And if you know, you know, they're not out of it yet. A two point, an extra point here would only make it an eight point game. It's still one possession regardless, unless Savage Sisters go for two. South are going to go for, no, they're moving up. Okay. That's an audible. Had to figure that out. There we go. Extra point. It'll still keep it one score. Motion. Good catch. Way to thread it. 14 to 6. She's been on fire these last two drives. Back to the sideline we go. 14. Uh, team Blunt Talk. That's where we are today, TVT, Team Blunt Talk. Here for day two of the Lynn Lewis Foundation, 15th Annual Breast Cancer Awareness Tournament. Kickoff coming. We're going to back up. And that return dropped. Been tough scoring from fielding some of these returns today. We'll go to the sideline. Pitch back to that left side. Second down coming up for if you know, you know. Crucial drive here. Down by eight, fourth quarter. Or second half, sorry. This, <laughs> might as well be fourth quarter. Same analogy here. We are halfway through the half, which would make this the fourth quarter. Zoom in on her. Seven up, running it. Keep running, keep running, keep running. They're going. Right down the sideline, pull down. Try to stay on this side while they go up the field till they get past the sun, which is right behind us. Third down coming up, line the game right there. Timeout by, if you know, you know. Five forty-five, second semifinal will be coming up after this. We'll be on field one for the entirety of the next few hours. And then we'll migrate wherever the action is for the rest of this tournament. Joey Blaze here at 15th Annual Lynn Lewis Foundation Breast Cancer Awareness Tournament. We've crowned an eights 35 and over. We've crowned a five champion today. We crowned eights for Cop and Pro today. Crowned seven okay, yesterday. Plenty of more champions to be crowned this weekend and many more over the next month. As we are here for Champions Month. More to come. Say a double quarterback. Steve and I. They're taking a while to snap it, and now what? They're going to call a timeout, yeah. Savage Sisters had a read on the play, and they call timeout. It's three on one. We've got to run a house. You're going to let No, I just got here. When they confused. So the timeout called 14 to 6. 
Feels like they could have had an opportunity there, but Savage Sisters figured out what was happening. Warm temperatures again today, down here in the nation's capital. 70 degrees is supposed to be the high. Low is about 50 earlier on. I'll tell you, it definitely does not feel like October today. I didn't feel like it yesterday either. Very unseasonably warm day. And perfect weather for what has been a perfect weekend. Throws right, middle. Complete. Pull down. Fourth down coming. Line the game right here. No declaration. Which means they can rush. Could be a punt, could be a pass, could be a run. We'll see what they decide. Hey! Hey, 201 over there! Hey, way, way wide open. See what they do here. Crucial fourth down. Let's go. Middle. She's all over her back. She's all over her back. That's caught. Well, let's see where they mark it. They're going to say caught on the line. First down. Wow. A lot of traffic there. But she managed to get it. First down. Next cone right over here. You can't go through players. Oh, there is a player down for Savage Sisters. So they got her on the sideline though, so she's not in the field of play. Gonna throw a complete left side. Pulled right down. Side of the cone though, second down. Little by little, they move down the field. Line the game right here in front of us. Got it. Great catch. Still shy of a third down. Third down. Offense starting to find a rhythm here late in the game. Interesting. Lining up over here, actually, with the ball. I'm about to say, I don't think Savage Sisters even realized it. And a, a penalty flag is thrown. So it looks like a false start. What we call on if you know, you know. So backwards they go. Remember, they're still over here snapping it. They're not in the middle of the field. So we got a tight shot right here on the sideline. Going to throw. Cross that middle incomplete. Still over there on that left sideline near us. We're going to mostly focus the shot here to start. Oh. Stay, stay wide open right there. Uh, plenty of field there to throw to. Get the first. Got the first bobble and incomplete. Excellent defense. Excellent defense on fourth down to secure the stop. And Savage Sisters take over. Two minutes. Two minutes in this one. Winner to the championship. Loser goes home. And it'll be a long ride back for whoever loses this one. 
I can tell you that. Hey, push all the way out, all the way out there. Motion, left side. Extra blocker is what the look is. And got the ball off before the belt was ripped off. Incomplete, 147. Eight point game, 14 to six, Savage Sisters here in the second half. One forty-seven, eight-point game. Line to gain up there, all the way down there. This is where the line to gain is. We're right here for the record. Let's go over to the middle here a little more. Try to get a different angle than the ref and the photographer. Fly pull right down from behind. Great defensive pull. The Federal starting to get back there. And if you're Savage Sisters, with how good this passing attack has been in the second half, I think you at least got to try to get the ball up one time to one of your receivers in order to try to get a first down here. Timeout is called, however. Eight point game, final minutes. Winner to the championship. Loser goes home. I'll see what the next game is. In a moment. Plenty of games on the air right now. Crowning a champion here in eights. Cop bracket. Plenty of more to come today. 2.35 is the set start time for the comp championship. We will be here on field one fort. One thirty-eight, third down. Ooh, to the left. That was dangerous. She run it herself. That was gonna work out. See where they pull her out. She got yards. She may not have got the first, but she got yards, and that's important for this fourth down. Because even if she didn't get the first down, the further up the field she pushes it, the more difficult it gets for her if you know you know. Now Savage Sisters have a decision to make. Do you try to go for it on fourth down here, get the first and lock this one up? Or do you try to just simply punt it, trust your defense that has played excellent in the second half, and get that final game-winning stop? We will see what they do. I'd imagine a non-declaration is coming. Let's see where they mark this at. Even though she did not get the first, the fact that they were able to cut the field down is just as important. We'll back up. See, you got to have good discipline here because I believe an offsides or an encroachment would give a first down. We'll see what they do. Good discipline. Ball to the left again and put it right in the position to be sacked. And it's going to put, if you know, you know, in a position to win. Or at least tied, I should say. <laughs> an opportunity to win, perhaps in overtime. 122. She got the ball off, but it was too late. The flag was already pulled. Let's see what they're doing with this. 122, ball's back in the middle. They've been snapping the ball on that side of the field for a good bit of this game. We're gonna stay on the field. 
Interesting formation. They're taking a while. Huh? Looks like there's an audible coming. She takes a snap, runs, and complete. Try to go right side, nobody there. Second down. Long developing play there. On well, terms of the time that went by between the turnover and snapping it with all the discussion and everything else, and it's all for naught. It's a crucial time of the game. Clock is still your friend. You got plenty of time. Don't worry. You're headway through. But you got to go forward and you got to get out of bounds if you don't score. And you can't afford a sack or a pullback here. Great run. Great instincts. Got to the sideline. I believe the clock is stopped. One oh nine, third down. Making a lot of substitutions here. Some major adjustments to see what they do. Throws it high. Incomplete. What? I was had a catch. Okay. What's the ref doing back here, though? What's going on? The puck wasn't even moved. So she did come up with it, or saying. I thought she did in the first. Timeout called. I thought for a minute it might have came out, but I might have just looked at it the wrong way. Sun was in my eyes. So they're rolling this a completion on the field. They're discussing right now. I was wondering that myself. Yeah. I gotta get my prescriptions to work though. I got 20, 100 vision or something like that. And complete is the overroll, fourth down. Referees roll incomplete. And I'll be honest, I was thinking the same thing. I did say incomplete at first, thinking it was, but they said caught. But they ruled that it is going to be incomplete. We're going to come back here. I'm going to go to the line to avoid a potential shot that could get ruined by the sun. I had thought myself when the ball had been thrown to her that it wasn't complete. Fax, can't get discouraged right now. Cannot get discouraged after that. Let's throw him in. Running it herself. First down. Good mental focus by if you know, you know. Let that last play go and play another down. Let's see a spike. Second. Complete. Let's go. Hold down. No huddle. Sideline is loud behind us. We're going to try to get to the end zone. Broke it up, incomplete. End zone. They might snap before I'm even there. Hold on a second. Oh, 
Well, right now what down it is, refs are saying fourth, and if you know, you know, we're saying third. We're going to the end zone regardless. Because all the action is coming here. They'll talk and I'll wait. They're having a conversation about what down it is. If you know, you know is saying third down. The referees and Savage Sisters are saying it's fourth. 14 to six is all you need to know for now is the score. Savage Sisters leading late in the second half. We're in the final minute at the very least. I haven't heard a minute declared or a time declared in recent times, but here we are. It's my guess. Let's we'll see what we do here. 26. Body on body. And she still comes up with the catch. First down. It's like we say, body up. And she showed toughness by catching that in traffic. End zone. Too high incomplete. Second and goal. Trying to hurry. Here we go. Honestly, right there, if you get a quick slant across that middle, I think she might have it. Looks like that's what the call was. Said they're going to go to her. Touchdown! In favor of if you know, you know. Fourteen to twelve, two point conversion coming. What is the official score? I have fourteen six. They're gonna kick it. How about I say I got fourteen twelve too? Yeah. Oh, so they up two. Yeah. So this is to this is to tie it. A two point kick. Coming. Kicks it up. No good. No good. Savage Sisters to the championship. They are victorious. 14 to 12. I'm Joey Blaze. We'll see you in a few.